The Great War was a terrible event. We must ask ourselves how it started and how the world became divided. I'll now take you back to about 100 years ago, back to 1914. the world. If anybody tried to attack us, no one could ever take us down. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Sire. I, mean, I know we're strong, but anything can happen. So the English were pretty boastful. Austria-Hungary knew this, and so did Germany. We have a proposition. Well, with an army of 4.2 million soldiers and 281 ships, I think I know what you're proposing. The British have 388 ships and 390 overseas colonies. We're defenceless. Yeah, I agree. I think we can unite. On hearing of this, Britain contacted Russia. We British fear the unite of Austria and Hungary will be strong with you. I see your fear, I see your fear. Motion granted, we unite. So two teams were starting to form. The Ottoman Empire was bursting at the seams. It needed help. Help. Russia and Britain are the two of the biggest forces worldwide. We need help, right? With us, we are going to north. I agree. We have no strength. I agree. We unite. The British Russian forces were strong. They required yet more strength. Bonjour la France. I want to team up for more power. Yes, you are strong. If you stand alone, you shall no, have no chance. Why shouldn't we join the others? We got here first. Good answer. We unite. Yet the British required more power STILL! Well, we need you now, Mr. Serbian Man. Don't call me that. I do think you have more chance of winning, so we unite. At this point, the Germans started what they called the Schlieffen Plan. If war starts, we must invade France. On hearing of this, the British fought back. They had a plan too. Germany starts on her. Then Russia started preparing for the war. What we need to do is invade Germany. If any, anything happens, we also need to invade Hungary. If they start in Serbia. By this time, the British knew that war was within reaching distance. We move into Belgium and wait for further orders. After the Black Hand Gang killed the Emperor of Austro-Hungary on the 28th of July 1914, it was Serbia who got the blame. Off to war we go. Serbia, here we come. So Russia kept their promise, and on the 29th of July, the following happened. Take Serbia, we must invade Austria, Austria and Hungary. Hungary. Then Germany decided that they would invade a country on the 1st of August 1914. France and Russia, we go! It was time for the British forces to move out of Belgium on the 2nd of August, 1940. Under Germany invade France, we have to go and invade. The Germans then adapted their Schlieffen plan on August the 3rd. To attack France, then Russia. Also, the Germans tried to unite with another country who was on the other team on August the 4th, 1940. Can you let us take some forces through? How about no? Let's go anywhere. Then Austro-Hungary declared war on August the 6th, 1914. Let's go and fight with Russia. British and French forces made a plan on August the 12th, 1914. Friend, can you help us take down Austria? Always, my friend. Always. And then the Italians got involved too. The more help, the better. The final lineup was Britain and her empire, France. Belgium, Italy, Serbia, Romania, Portugal, Russia, the USA and Japan versus Germany, Austro-Hungary, Turkey and Bulgaria. If you ask me, the lineup was pretty one-sided because Britain and France had lots of overseas colonies and soldiers and navy ships, whereas Germany and Austro-Hungary had less than that, but when you put Belgium, Italy, Serbia, etc. in with Britain and her empire, 
the list was just too far for Germany and the rest of that team to handle. So I'll leave you now. I just want to leave you with the thought of Britain and France winning. Because they did. And like I said before, they won because they have more soldiers, navies and overseas colonies. Thank you very much and goodbye. to say little